Hey guys, what is up? It's uh, Nearmostai1 here. And it's obviously been a while since uh, my last video. I'm guessing if I... Let me quickly check here. The last video was done... Everything loads properly. My last video was... December 30th. So it's been about three months right now. And I kind of hit a slow slump uh, coming into the beginning of the year. And I kind of haven't been in the motivation to produce content. And talking it over with uh, one of my friends, uh, he gave me an idea for uh, an interesting like video to do. It's just a top five. And uh, because of my love, uh, well, love is a weird word, I really, really enjoy watching uh, Super Sentai slash Power Rangers. Now, I know I'm a, probably a grown adult. And I'm still enjoying Woods is supposed to be marketed towards kids. Now, I enjoy it because it's a nostalgia feeling, yes. And sometimes it actually is pretty good for what is supposed to be for kids. Like, sometimes it can get deadly serious. Now, this top five here is going to be top five Rangers throughout the Power Rangers series, not Super Sentai. That's too much. I can't. I have not watched every Sentai, and I can't really judge that. So, for top five Power Rangers, here we go. Starting with number five. For number five, we have Billy from uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Now, Billy, obviously, I've watched the show from beginning to the first three seasons, from beginning to end, as well as a bit of Zio. I didn't watch most of Zio, and I know he departs at Zio's time. Uh, Billy was always, like, you know, the nerd of the group. That was his stick. But he also can fight. He learns to fight and he grows with the team. He helps the team make gadgets and stuff. Helps with the Megazord stuff. And this character was pretty much flushed out. Um, but when he entered I, uh, Zeo, uh, they, he decided to stay on board. I don't know if uh, the actor decided to stay on board. But they didn't really use him as much. Uh, he... Basically, it was a supporting character now because the Zeo crystals in the storyline uh, and the explosion from the, the last season, uh, he got hit with a bunch of energy for some reason, and it, the Zeo crystal can't meld with him. So he gives his Zeo crystal to Tanya, who's who's with them right there. And it's funny if he took the Zeo crystal, I think he would have been Zeo yellow, which would have been really, really funny. But, um, no, he is a supporting character and helps them out. But they start writing him out of the series because David Yost is having falling out with this, with the producers and everyone working on the thing because of him being, uh, homosexual. It's, it's fine with him, but, um, that kind of caused that caused way problems because back then, back then, civil, uh, the civil rights for that was not it was horrible. It still is today, kind of, but not as much. But yeah, they read him out of the series with him because the aging machine from the previous uh, season. He essentially starts like really out, uh, really growing up, and starts coming old. They even get a different actor to play him, and he doesn't even come back when they show him on like uh, the TV screen. They kind of just like grow his face, and they kind of like just imagine my face. I don't know if I'll do an effect right here. Or you see my face, and then they warp it. Now. On to, uh, with number four, we have our first Red Ranger on the list. Well, technically not Red Ranger, but he is red. We have Eric Myers. Now, Eric Myers is Quantum Ranger from Power Rangers Time Force. Now, Power Rangers Time Force, very fucking good season. Uh, that was fantastic for it. It really took uh, Power Rangers to new heights. Uh, did new, It was time travel, so that was always fun. Time travel stories are always fun for me. Now with Eric Myers, he is part of a special task group. Does I think his special task group was designed by Wes, who is the Red Ranger this season. His father has like some, you know, there's some mercenary group, and um, 
correct me if I'm wrong in the comments if that's not true. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head with this because it's quick fire here. Now, with Eric, he is the lead. I think he's the leader of this group. But obviously, he doesn't trust anyone at the. He doesn't trust any of the Rangers. He even just he doesn't even know. I think Wes is the Red Ranger. And once he finds out, the dynamic of everything changes. Now he starts trusting people. Uh, he starts tr well. He mostly he starts trusting Wes because uh, Eric was a kid who was in poverty. He grew up poor. He didn't really trust Wes as much because Wes grew up as a rich kid and he got everything he wanted. So it was the dynamic of you know, rich and poverty. It was actually very, very, very cool to see that growing up as a kid. Now, when he becomes part of the group and starts trusting, everything starts working better. Now Eric, the character, was supposed to probably get killed off. If I remember correctly, I think they filmed that. He, he said that ad at some convention. I've watched some convention videos. I think I remember hearing that. Uh, he was supposed to get killed off, but because in the ratings, I think, and because it's a kid show and they really can't show death, even though they showed death a, a few seasons before, but not really to the extent. They didn't kill him. They didn't choose the the, the killed footage. No, the Sentai, the character that plays that uses the quantum power he does die so it would have been interesting to see if Eric did die I would love to see what would have probably would have happened but it would kind of been you know kind of a bummer is too much for kids now with number three we have Kendrick now Kendrick is uh, lost galaxy pink now Kendrick was a really like okay she was kind of like I, I wanted to bitchy but she was kind of just very questionable about everything. But then she becomes very, like, she hit her and, um, I forgot, uh, uh Lost Galaxy, uh, Yellow. They kind of have a dynamic. They go back and forth, which is really nice to see. But it's kind of given. It's not until the team up of that season where, like, she, you really get to see what Kendrick is, uh, uh, shows that she actually has a lot of bravery in a sense because the evil rangers of that season well the evil not that season but the evil rangers from like previous season they come back and they're starting to wreak havoc and they want to take this sword that I, f I forgot the name of the sword but they want to take that and gain power now most of the evil rangers die but evil ranger pink uh, ends up taking control of this and turns into a weird fucking monster. But she has control of this massively powerful sword. Now, there's this field around it. It's like pink tornado field, which is funny. Uh, Kendrick and... I forgot the name of Lost Galaxy Pink. Uh, not Lost Galaxy Pink, sorry. Ooh. I forgot the name of uh, In Space Pink. Now, In Space Pink, her and her go into the field. Now, because they really can't do anything, uh, they uh, someone has. Well, they they go they they try to go into the field, right? They're like, no, it'll be, it'll be too much. You can't really do so, right? But Kendrick goes, well, you know what? I don't give a shit. Goes in, destroys the sword. But you know what? She ends up dying. She becomes like the spirit thing, and her power ends up going to some character. Spoilers. I'm not gonna really uh, say. But she just ends up dying. And she comes back later. Now the reason for that happening is the actress ended up getting some cancer. And she went through chemo. Now they, she can't act anymore right now. So they had to kill her off. But even though they killed her off, they killed her off in a very, very good way. It wasn't like, oh, I lost my powers. There's no way I can use this anymore. Oh, no, they actually did something with the character. Sad, but they did something with the character. Now for number two is Tommy. I don't have to say anything, so let's go to number one. Now, number one is Bridge from SPD. Now, SPD is one of my favorite seasons. Not top, I would say, but it is very high up there. Now, Bridge 
it's comic relief of the group, really. He he's the more um open minded person. Doesn't really uh clash with anyone, gets along with a lot of people very, very nicely. Uh mainly because of uh he his civilian power. His civilian power allows him to see um what happened or actually read people so he can actually judge uh what people will act like so he can properly assess the situation. Besides that, he worked really well with the team, provided a lot of support. He was able to figure out that something was wrong in the beginning of the season, comes into play later. Now besides that, he goes through I would say just as much transformations in the uh not as much as Tommy Right, because you know Tommy was like five different type of rangers just because he stayed on for the longest. He was also in the same series. He at the end of the series he becomes uh, SPD Blue, which is pretty cool. And uh, I think uh, I think it's his name Sky. I think that's his name. Uh, ends up becoming SPD Red. Yeah. And Z still is SPD yellow, I think. By the no, wait, no, she still stays. She's SPD yellow, and uh, the other chick is uh, SPD pink. Now it's kind of weird how the only thing that changes is the f- male colors, but okay, it would have been interesting to see a different team color change. But then in the team up for Operation Overdrive, you see him as the red SPD ranger, and that's because. Uh, Sky gets ranked up because the head of SPD in the ent- of the entire SPD, not just you know Kruger's district, uh, retires. So Kruger takes up that position. Sky takes up Kruger's position, and uh, Bridge ends up becoming SPD Red. Now it's not clear if there's like an SPD Blue or like who else joins. Them. It's not clear, but uh, I think because Bridge is like such a lovable, cool, down-to-earth character. That's why he's my favorite. Because I really like down-to-earth characters that can really show their strengths. And if I remember correctly, there was an episode where um, androids are really, like, liked. And he ends up befriending one. And they don't really know that. But uh, he goes through... Uh, you see that he can like the character and even though that she's an android that he doesn't care that she's an android she's still helpful she's still useful she still is a person so I don't know that's he's just very cool very simple now that has been my top 5 rangers now if you Disagree with this list is fine, but this is my opinion. This is my list. Mostly, I bet most people's list will have Tommy as number one. Uh, if you come to see that, you're not you're not in the right place. But if you haven't come to see that, ah, nice. You click the video now. Subscribe. Ha ha ha. No, but I will be coming out with a top ten range, uh, Power Rangers series. Now at this current airing, Dino Charge hasn't like finished yet, but it's close. It's not like top top, but it it probably might be on the list. Maybe not. It depends on when I'm actually gonna do that video, so I might give it time. I might give it time. I'd say until uh, Dino. I'm gonna basically do that video when Dino Charge goes on mid on its mid season break. I bet you it's gonna go on that soon anyway. So this is Near Must Die One signing out.